Hey Helix users, um, it's been a while since my last two minute tip, but I wanted to get back into these. And today is going to be another just setup video about what I do with my Helix when it comes to sending a signal out. So I always send out at least two signals, one to the front of house, and then one signal goes to an FRFR like the power cab or uh, whatever, you know, uh, monitor wedge I have on stage. Sometimes I'll even take this into the power amp in of a tube amp. Um, a lot of venues have been backlining like a Fender hot rod amp that has an effects loop. So I'll go into the effects return or I think it's, I think it's called power amp in or something like that on the, uh, on the amp. So the XLRs are all meant to go to the house. The quarter inches are meant to go to some type of speaker or amplifier. So my theory about this, and I mean, it's not a theory, it's my mentality, I guess, or approach to this is that I want my XLRs always set to mic level and I want my quarter inches set to line. So how I picture this is a mixing board or a front of house board is always going to want a microphone, right? A singer sings into a microphone, microphone goes there. When you mic a guitar cabinet, the microphone goes to the board. So if I'm going to a board, a sound board, a front of house board, monitor board, whatever it is, I'm going to send it a mic signal. And if I'm going to a speaker, a cabinet, anything that's going to be just amplifying my sound, I will send that a line level. So that's just my general rule. And I'm going to show you guys in the Helix how to get to those menus and how to set yours up the way that I have it. I'm also going to show you guys how to bypass the big volume knob or set the volume knob in a certain way. I have the big volume knob set to control quarter inch only. So my thought process behind that is I don't want my signal to front of house being affected by anything. So I just bypass that and whatever I get to front of house is only my front of house signal. And I can't change it even if I wanted to. So that's just one solid thing. I keep it controlling the quarter inch because that controls my level to my speaker. So if I'm touring and I have a different speaker every night, I can control the level that that speaker is getting if it's too hot of a signal or if it needs more of a signal. And I can control that right from the Helix. So let's go over to the Helix. I'll show you guys how to get into these menus. So here we have our Helix. We're going to press this. This is the, the three lines here. This is going to take you to this menu. And we're going to go here to global settings. Okay, now you have to make sure that you are select to ins, outs. So make sure that your menu is all the way over to ins and outs. You're going to page over. Okay, so now we have quarter inch, XLR, and then all of our effects loops here. So again, like I said, my quarter inch outputs are always set to line. You have an option for line or instrument. I choose line for the quarter inch because I'm going to the speaker. XLR, you could do mic, line, either or. Like I said, I like to send a mic signal just as if a microphone were on a cabinet. That's what's going to the house. So make sure that these two are like this if you want to do it the way I have it set up, if that makes sense and works for you. I'm also going to page over one more. And you have here, big volume knob. Okay, volume knob means this big volume knob. So I have it controlling quarter inch. You can also set it to quarter inch XLR multi, which is everything, or digital. So again, I keep it on just quarter inch so that if I'm using my FRFR and it's not getting enough signal, I could just jack this up a little bit or bring it down depending on what I need. Another reason why I don't have that big knob affecting my front of house signal is because walking in front of my Helix, I've done this plenty of times. I'm going to get a cable. I'm going to show you what happens. So you walk in front of your Helix to take a solo and let's go over to the Helix here. You walk up to the front of the stage, take a solo and all of a sudden this happens. In whichever direction you're headed. This has happened to me a bunch of times. You learn, you know, it's trial by fire. You learn as you go what to do and what not to do. So I learned very quickly to not have that knob affect my front of house signal under any circumstance because I don't want something like that happening. So that's it for this two minute tip guys. I appreciate you checking it out. Um, if you haven't already, or if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos on Helix. Any questions you guys may have, please feel free, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Um, I love having conversations about this stuff. So 
feel free to reach out and thank you guys again for watching.